In this tutorial, we will teach you how to work with the Brush and Layer Mask tool in Photoshop. First, select the Quick Selection tool from the toolbar on the left and select the bag. You have to be a little careful with the selection as you might accidentally add extra pixels to it. To remove the gaps between the straps, hold onto the Alt key. A minus sign appears on your selection point, from which you can deselect some of the pixels. You do not have to be perfect with the selection, as we will fix it later on. Now, to convert our selection into a layer mask, click on the Mask panel on the right, and then select the Add a Pixel Mask button. You can see in the Layer panel that it creates a layer which supports transparency, so everything that is black is hidden, and whatever is white will be revealed as part of the image. Add a new layer to the image, and to shift that layer below the current layer, hold the Control key and click the New Layer button. Color the background white, so for that go to the Edit menu, choose Fill, and then choose White. Go on the Layer Mask, select the thumbnail, get the Zoom tool by pressing Z, and zoom in where you think there are a lot of gray areas. You can move around the document by holding Spacebar and dragging around the screen till you get to the part of the image you want to focus on. To add or subtract to the Layer Mask, first switch to our Brush tool by pressing B. As you can see, the brush here is big. We can decrease its size by pressing the left bracket, and the right bracket will make it bigger. Now paint it with either white or black. Black will add to the mask, and white will subtract from the mask. To get rid of this gray area, start painting out on the gray areas with black color. You need to be pretty careful while doing this, but if by mistake you drag your mouse onto the bag, you can fix it by simply pressing X to change your foreground and background color, and paint on the bag where it is necessary. Go back to the image by pressing Ctrl-0 to fit the image to the window, or by doing it manually. Click on the layer itself and add a drop shadow effect to the image. You can easily drag the shadow to whatever you are comfortable with, and can increase or decrease the opacity accordingly. If you think the bag looks too dull, then go on the adjustment panel and click on Vibrance. Increase it as per your need, and you're done.